All right. Is that a moose? Is that m moose haymakering a goblin? All right. Eardrum blowout a little bit. That's all right. Long ago, there was order. <gasps> Look at this. We have to press a button to continue. Oh, no, it doesn't. It, it just goes slow. That's good. The gods ruled from Asgard. The mortals lived in Midgard. The giants were banished to the outer realms. The gods were a varied group defined by different traits. Odin the foolish. I don't know what's up with these like this like this kind of thing here. Like these kind of like little graphical things. Boulder the treacherous. Thor the forgettable. The Thor the forgettable. Freya the forgettable. Who? Loki, the geniusly brilliant. The mortals praise the gods, for they kept the giants at bay. That was until Balder conspired with the fire giant Surtur and invented his, invited his legions to something. Surtur unleashed Ragnarok. Oh no, not Ragnarok. Don't do that. Pillars of the fire stretched into the sky. The world cracked and burned. Many mortals perished. When the ashes had cooled, Loki bravely confronted Balder for his crimes. This duel would have been epic had it not been so one-sided. Wow! But Odin, the fool, was blind to the truth and thought Loki was the enemy. Oh my god. Loki was decapitated and his head was locked in a prison. Oh no. Loki thought that all was lost until he discovered that he was not alone in this prison. Frozen in ice, he uncovered you, me. What's up, Loki? Hey, did all that really happen? Of course it all happened. Down to the last detail. Why are you why are you a cybernetic snake? Loki with with the extra head. Kinda looks like it wraps around your head. Are you questioning the honesty of your savior? If it were not for me, you would you still be you would still be a flesh flavored popsicle. Show some respect for your local god. So, you're Loki? Indeed I am Loki. Well, the head part at least. Standing before a god must have you trembling, but do not worry, we are on the same side, you and I. And that is because we are both we both want the same thing, to escape this prison and confront Odin. Why confront Odin? Odin. Are you not paying attention, mortal? Odin is the reason why both of us are trapped down here. I would not mind returning to the returning the favor. I'm sure you feel the same. Who am I? Who knows? Who cares? You could be a sentient frozen yogurt for all I care. I find it far more interesting that you're capable of what you're capable of with the help of my guiding hand. You don't have any hands. Well, my metaphorical hand. Okay, good. good. I'm going to clear that up. I've been experiencing a temporary shortage of hands. But I digress. You are not the only frozen mortal that I found. Go to the cryo chamber if you want to swap places with one of the other popsicles. Are we trapped here? Oh yes, very chronically so. Odin the old fool condemned the head to this prison for doing the right thing. And I suppose you have been a prisoner here even longer. Go ahead. Go up to the stairs and you can confirm our predicament with your own mortal eyes. Odin has barred the entrance to this strange place. 
and it would take a godlike strength to clear the rubble. Skill tree. Challenges. All right. Change character. Britta the Cyber Zerker. Leafy the Moose. Ganilla the Gunrunner. Einar the Miner. Gustav the Ghost. Yeah, Moose. A Moose! Moose picked the correct character, Billy. I'm sorry, I didn't pick the correct character. Screen shake out of here. I don't think that changed the resolution. Found a power ruin. Collect enough and you can activate your power by pressing right click. Okay. Billy, I don't think you have unlimited ammo. Yeah, I see. be a little bit of Gungeon. A little bit. gun. Oh, shit. That guy's a loose rocket, Billy. A real loose rocket, that guy. Cybernetic enhancements are performing well. That's good. Oh god. Oh. 
Bruh. Oh my god. I got some help. This guy's still up. I want to see if we get anything cool for killing this guy. Oh god. Yeah! Look at all that stuff. Overloader. Okay, extra projectile animal cost remains the same. Listen up, mortal. You have found a weapon mod. It can be used to upgrade any weapon you want. This costs gold, and slotting several mods into the same weapon gets increasingly expensive. Weapon mods can not be removed once slotted, so slot carefully. Okay. go, I guess. Uh. Okay, there we go. Weird. So this is like a, a co-op game as well. I think one to four players. Add lifesteal syringe. Let's do it. Off bomb. I'm just gonna. Oh, okay. Gonna homes. A little bit. Just stay a bit. using my right click ability I'm gonna try that out now. Oh the okay car blowing up killed me. Duly noted. Fine weapon mod you got there life steal okay okay rip indeed uh, what's up nano up a him. Right, let's try the moose. I'm a moose now. Corner. 
Get out of there. The music's fine. I don't know if it's just like royalty free kind of stuff. It kind of sounds a little, a little bit better than that, but uh, the gameplay's fine. It's not bad. Uh, it's not like, like I'm not, I'm, I like, I like Dungeon quite a bit. I'm not any good at it though, but it's like a more simple version of something like that. Maybe simple is not the right word. It's like a little bit different. Yo, JT with the 56 months. So close to 69, and yet so far away, really. Realistic. Thank you so very much for the 56, JT. I really appreciate it. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Don't leave any other love lying around. Make sure you pick it up and tag it with you. It's going to happen, Billy, I believe. I believe. Yeah, Kuro's really good at Gungeon. Um, I've been wanting to dye my hair since five years ago, and I did it last night. Nice! I'm officially blue. I saw myself blonde as well. Hey! Nice. Yeah, leading up to Next Fest, I did a, I did a re-bleach and... Uh, We bleach and die. It's fun. Fun stuff. Oh, nice. <laughs> like the old environmental stuff. See what this moose upgrade does, or this moose ability. Oh. A shotgun. Wait, the shotgun. Okay. I can't equip like a third slot, I, I guess. Like, not yet. It's like a different kind of slot for weapon. Yeah, JT Blue now. Yep. Not not JT Clear, that's for sure. for a meeting and all of a sudden Billy is transformed into a dog from a dog into a moose wow you missed a couple of demos plus 10% ammo capacity Plus one max HP, cool. This is a lot easier than Gungeon so far. We started like the starter level. Yeah. 
Got him. Go to the cold cave. Shit. blow up. I got him. Oh, man. That guy dropped a lot of shit. I only have two guns equipped. Oh, yeah. It's like, yeah, nuclear throne. Now, that's what this is more similar to. That's right. It's weird to me that I can only carry two weapons. But I guess it's fine. What's wrong with that? Those horns natural. Okay, Loki. What the fuck is going on here? I killed myself. Okay, shit. I'll do one more. This game seems fine. It's not really my speed, though. This isn't really, like, my kind of, uh, game. But the art's cool enough. The story doesn't, uh, do it for me. I don't find it particularly interesting. But, yeah, nuclear throne kind of vibes. Didn't pick up health and we're a full health. But some games just do that. Oh, I don't know. 
what I did. I thought it was a gun. Okay, it's a triple shot thing. Got health. You can avoid picking up health at full health by not walking on it when you're at full health. It's a secret trick of mine. Well, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, that's kind of what, uh, like, uh, Nuclear Throne made me want to do as well, Einsteinium, is just play uh, Gungeon. What's up, Neon Tiger? Thank you so very much. What's up, Chimpley? The moose is loose. Well, loose. Ow. controls well i think that's all the people who are looking for a new nuclear throne would realistically be looking for yeah no it controls good definitely not really uh there's not, nothing wrong with the game it's just not like a game for me i don't think but it controls fine i like uh, and it's like a multiplayer experience too you can play it with multiple people i know that some sometimes things People are looking forward to, well, not me, but. Oh, fuck! Ow! Oh, shit! Oh, got him! Later, nerd! Okay, I like the weapon modification stuff. That's cool. Feels good. I like that the enemy's shots are like very it's very clear you know that the enemy's shots are dangerous to the shiny red kind of situation making things a lot more clear games like this where you have a lot of stuff going on is very much appreciated. If I dig the rocket. Good. What's this? Dealing myself damage, that's what that is. Something extra max speed? Is that what that was? What is this activated ability? Like, what does it do? Because before it gave me extra ammo. I use my fancy ability too, by the way. I guess. Can I 
see what my activated abilities are. Like, I think this is like an invulnerability thing. Nope, never mind. I don't know what it is. Maybe it, maybe it just ran out when the, by the time I got shot. Holy shit! Oh my god. This game running. Alright. That's not too bad. We got a level so we can reuse our, uh, ability, our, uh, skill tree. Yeah, two points. These cost a lot, though. These cost, like, five and stuff. Okay, some of these cost one. Okay, I see. They start at the bottom. Here. When entering a new area, enemies idle for extra seconds. Pickup range increased. Patient pickups. Pickups remain for extra time. When taking damage, gain move speed. It says I got two points, and it says that this is one point cost. Oh, we probably have to start with this, though. I see. Yes, of course. Okay. Yeah, okay, it branches out. For some reason, I thought that all of the things on the bottom were base, and then each of them would branch out, but that's... That, that's not how it works. Okay, cool. That's fine. I'm not going to put in too much time in, uh, in Odin Fall. Just, I mean, it's like a, just, just not something that uh, fits with me, but put points in the skill tree to just exit. Uh, yeah, I, well, I wanted to see like how spending points worked. So yeah, it's um kind of a yeah a Norse nuclear throne exactly. Black points is pretty is pretty pretty accurate. Norse mythology nuclear throne. Controls well. Graphics are solid. Uh, much like Nuclear Throne, I just prefer Enter the Gungeon, even though they aren't the same game. Um, so for me, I, it's, it's like a three, three. I, I think it's good. It's definitely not bad. It's just not, it's just not for me. Um... So I won't play that on stream, but uh, yeah, I, I'd recommend it if if that if you like Nuclear Throne, you're gonna enjoy Odin Fall. But like I I know that like Nuclear Throne isn't trying to be like Gungeon, like it's just a different kind of game, right? Uh, also, there's multiplayer. Uh, Multiplayer as well. 